The world's changed. The nature of the way we sail boats has changed. And um, so it's, it's about time that there's a new, there hasn't been a new spinnaker cloth released for 15 years by any supplier. And that's what Aerotech's bringing to the market today. Aerotech is a new line of woven, finished fabrics. So they're not laminates, they're not spread filament like 3D, they're classic woven fabrics with different types of finishing. So we have an Aerotech N for nylon and an Aerotech P for polyester. Well, let's just talk about polyester and nylon for one quick second. Difference, the primary difference between a polyester fibre and a nylon fibre is its elongation to break properties. Nylon is a very elastic sail, so it can, can absorb that shock loading of, you know, breaking into waves. Polyester, it's a more brittle fibre because it can't deal with that instantaneous shock loading, that elongation, and it can't retract again. So what we've been able to do through some uh, very clever work on the fibre processing, polyester performance, polyester stability, with some nylon kind of shock loading and kind of handling. So I think we looked at this fact that these sails have changed a lot, the way they're flown have changed a lot, clearly the boats have changed a lot, bow sprits, big powerful asymmetrics. And we were frankly, I think as an industry, a little bit behind. The Polyester spinnaker fabrics have been tried at different times and the kind of Achilles heel was under certain conditions they became unreliable because they could break. So we worked with companies, a company that is one of the leading, um, I'd say the leading company in the world for making extremely tough, extremely strong polyester fabrics that could be suitable for spinnakers. And I think these companies have worked hard on that problem for those other areas like parachuting and that gave us the opportunity to leverage that for, uh, for spinnakers for sailboats. Within the, the design side, the connection with the end users, and then having the ability to start with a clean sheet of paper has enabled us to develop these two complete, quite unique lines that have common, common technology as far as the way that we coat. It's getting, now giving us a complete line from you know, a cruising client the whole way to the highest demanding TP52, RC44, Maxi72, um, you know, uh, Class 100 IRC type racing. With Aerotech P, what really drove this was um, producing very lightweight, no porosity, but very tough polyester fabrics for other high performance sports. And we kind of looked at that and said, let's see what we can do there working with that company that makes them and see what we could um, do for a, a really good spinnaker fabric. This is not the exact same fabric. A sail behaves differently than a parachute, for example. So you have to do trials and modify the, the yarn constructions and play around with different coatings to hit the, what's right for sail cloth. And that's what we've spent the last three plus years doing. As soon as Tom and I went to JB and Dave and, and Mickey and Kevin George in particular with um, Allegra, we've got this great new idea. We're going to reintroduce polyester into downwind spinnaker cloth. The first thing they all do is they take a step back and say, are you sure you're ready? You know, and because all those guys are very experienced guys and they've been through that loop of failure with polyester on the race course. So far we're very, very pleased with what we've achieved because we think we've found that, that delicate balance of ultimate performance but not throwing away, not risking too far, not throwing away everything in the durability states. Well, I, I think with the Aerotech N, Customers are going to get a sailcloth that's as good a spinnaker nylon as you can make. The Aerotech P is really exciting because you'll have another gear. You'll be able to point a little bit higher, put more wind across the sail, and have the sail shape be what you need it to be to, to go forward rather than tipping over. And it's a big, big difference. 
starting off down at the skiff level, we did a 16 foot skiff, an 18 foot skiff, uh, a couple of test sails in Australia. Then we went off and uh, RC44 is one of our flagship development classes along with the TP52 Super Series. So we did um, a couple of sales for IRC 52s and then uh, Super Series 52 with, uh, with Allegra, with Team Allegra. Um, and they've just absolutely tested that thing to an nth of its life. So we feel very confident, ready to release to the, uh, the general marketplace after the very best in the business have given it a rigorous uh, testing and feedback. Um, and then with the RC 44, we work very closely with uh, Team Charisma, uh, the, the top RC44 program over the last couple of years. And um, they, they took it to the point of doing destructive testing for us um, in a race environment and the sale came up squeaky clean. So it makes us feel that we're having a really strong connection with the owners of those teams, with the professionals involved, and also enables us in return to feedback and help fine tune the, the development. I, I think North Sales guiding principle is let's try to make the very best product. And part of that, there's design, there's the, the, the uh, representation by our clients, there's the service that we provide to our clients and so on. We want to be the best, and the same thing is true with the materials. So the North branded materials, the materials that we produce as North uh, branded sailcloth, that's generally a case where a material that's not already available and a great choice, we think we might be able to do something new and different or, and, and hopefully a little bit better.